Holy shnikes, I hit the jackpot, guys. My name is Burf and this Burf. is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf. And I'm at the thrift store today, baby. And I'm about to head in there and see what kind of goodies they got. Keep my fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. It's a nice, crisp, cool 39 degrees today. I love it. All right, so uh, we're gonna head in here and then we're probably gonna hit up a couple of goodie wheels. We'll hit up Craptastic Zams and more than likely I'm gonna hit up St. Vinnie de Paul. I've had a couple of scores out of there recently and I definitely wanna check it out again. So let's see what they got in here. Right, what do we got? Holy cow, we got a lot of Lego. A lot of Lego. 10 bucks a bag. I'm probably gonna pass on it. I just don't know enough about Lego to know what's worth money and what's not. All right, well, let's see what we can find in Baggyland. They kind of look like they're stocked up for Christmas. That's good. That's good. All right. Anything here? <laughs> that pencil. That's kind of soft and squishy. What do we got here? We got a Jeep. These kind of look like more of the baby toys. Let's see, is there anything in this bag? There's a Donald Duck. Lots of baby toys and like lots of plushy bags. It doesn't look like there's anything significant here that we're gonna find. All right, let's see what's in these bags. Here we've got some dino. Dinos are like rubber dinosaurs. Got a bald eagle there. And uh, like a gauntlet. Anything there? No. Maybe a Ken doll. There's a Pinocchio. Yeah, just some Sonic. I'm not really seeing anything. Maybe, maybe a Transformer? The chances are he's missing pieces. They usually are when they're in these bags. I've made that mistake quite a few times. All right, we got a Rescue Heroes guy here with his uh, ATV. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it looks like we got a Hulk mask. And just some junk. Oh, here's a full-on gauntlet. I've seen this quite a few times in thrift stores. Well, check this out. That's actually kind of cool. Hmm. Oh, look. When I was in here the other day, they had, uh, I purchased the uh, 2013 reproduction of the TMNT uh, party wagon, the party van. Um, this goes to that. So, looks like this is just going to go home with me. All right, so check this out. You actually fill this up with water, and then you squeeze down on it and then it like shoots out the shark's mouth i wonder how old this thing is well it turns out it's from 2008 it's made by a company called primetime toys it's definitely like a water gun and uh brand new they sell for about 15 bucks it's kind of cool i almost want to get it but i'm gonna think about it oh, here's a batmobile let's see if it's got a batman inside of it it does not. It looks like it's made for like a 12 inch figure. Oh, check out that little boat. That's fun. I think I actually had one like this at one point. And what is this? Is this like the Jetsons? Oh, now it's like Paw Patrol. <laughs> I thought it was like the Jetsons home for a second. Hey, check it out. It's our friendly neighborhood Spider Man. And we've got a Iron Man. We've got a Black Ranger. Any other cool stuff? There's like a 
ninja sword. Hey, okay, we've got a sound wave in here. And he's got his head. That's cool. <laughs> but he's like the only cool thing in this bag. And I don't think I want to pay three bucks for him. Oh, here's one of those tech deck skate ramps. That's fun. Now you could get that and set that up for your turtles to skate on. That'd be awesome. And here's some sort of underwater base, like a playset. I think I remember seeing like the, it was like the Aqua Pets or something like that. I can't remember. Aquanauts, maybe, I think they were called. I think that's their, uh, I think that's their underwater base. Check out that castle playset. That is pretty awesome. Oh, that's a pretty sweet looking case. Holds up to 100 Hot Wheels. Let's see if there's any in it. Uh, no. It is empty. It's a nice case though. And we've got another Iron Man. That makes two, including the one that's down here. This guy, him. He's pretty cool, man. I don't want to get him. I'm not an Iron Man fan, but it kind of makes a cool display piece. I was like, what is this? <laughs> it's a pinata for an epic birthday. They got some new VHS. Oh, they got Fast Times. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That is an epic movie. It's one of my favorite movies. The Wizard of Oz? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, I might snag that too. Star Trek Generations. I saw some Indiana Jones in here. There's actually quite a few Star Trek in here. That's a cool cover right there. Stargate. That was a good one. Yeah, check that out. Even more Star Trek. Keith and Carson would be in heaven over here. I think I remember they used to play this like in my uh, history class, like in seventh or eighth grade. I might just grab that. Hey, okay, there's the Iron Giant. And here's an overboard VHS. That was a funny movie. Monty Python Life of Brian. <laughs> All right. And I think I'm going to pick this up for Keith. It's sealed and he loves baseball, fan of Nolan Ryan. So Keith, I think this will make a good display on her shelf. All right, she's got a whole cart full of stuff there. So I'm just gonna hang out and wait. I got a Mickey Mouse racer with the remote control. That's cool. This bag here doesn't have much in it. I'm kind of digging that. I don't know what that is down there. It's got green feet and green arms. Kind of looks like it could be a turtle. But we'll find out. Okay, so she just pulled this off the cart. I don't know. I was kind of looking for a year. I don't see a year on it, but I might need to look it up. It could be worth something. All right, well, it turns out uh, it's selling for about $22 with free shipping. It probably costs around 10 bucks to ship it. It's $1.49 plus eBay fees, which all the hassle, the gas and all that stuff, I'd probably make like $3 on it if I sold it. So I'm just gonna leave it here on the shelf. I don't know what these are, but I just picked up the bag and the boxes are empty. And here's a bag with dinos and trains. <laughs> Dino train. All right, y'all. I ended up just getting some VHS tapes in there. So I got uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I got Stargate. I got Wizard of Oz. And I got the Highlander. So I got those four put everything else back. I also got this. This made its way home with me because I already bought the whole party wagon. I already bought the whole thing a few days ago. So this goes to it. So there's no reason I should have to go up and say, hey, can you sell this to me? Because it was part of it. So I just took it. All right, up next, we're gonna head off to the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the Goody Wheel, baby. We at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? 
Hopefully you got some vintage toys for me. So we got a few more thrift stores to hit up. We're on a little adventure here, a little five thrift store adventure. This good, we got the thrift store, Goodwill. We got another Goodwill, St. Vinny de Paul, and our Plaza Thrift to still hit up. So I'm feeling good, y'all. I'm feeling good. All right, let's see. Any goodness on the shelves? Any goodies? No, there's none. There's no goodies. We have no goodies on the shelf. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything in the plush section either. I mean, the coolest thing here is this Groot, and he's not even that cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this. This is June sales meeting. I think someone might have just recorded their sales meeting back in the 80s or 90s. Oh, it says NFL. Fuji, the official videotape of the National Football League. Huh? Huh, that's interesting. I almost want to buy it just to see what's on it. The June sales meeting. High quality videotape with durability Fuji. Oh, I see. It's just Fuji. But they're saying it's the official videotape of the National Football League. Okay, kind of like a, you know. Oh, what's this? Inspector Gadget? Gadgets? Greatest Gadgets? I don't know if I have that. I might have that one. I think I do have this one. Mm, I'll have to see what the episodes are, maybe. But yeah, I'm kind of like, I'm like, what were they selling? What was this sales meeting all about? Should we get it just to like see what the sales meeting was about? I think I'm going to get it just to see what it was about. Who knows what's on here? It's, you know, it's probably, um, it's probably porn <laughs> and some, some dad just wrote June sales meeting on it. So his kids would think it was like, uh, it was just dad's boring sales meeting, but, uh, all right, well, Let's grab it. I don't know. I'm curious. I'm willing to spend a buck on it to find out. And I'm going to get this just because I'm not 100% I got this one and I'd hate to pass it up. And if I do have it, hey, it's only a dollar that I'm out. So, all right. Let's grab this and let's grab the June sales meeting. All right, guys. So at the end of today's episode, we'll go back to the bunker and we'll plug this June sales meeting tape in and see... What's on it? I'm super curious. And I was just thinking, I don't know if I grabbed the Nolan Ryan sealed VHS for Keith. I think I might've like put it down by accident. So I gotta go back to the store. Well, first of all, I gotta check the bag first to see if it's in my bag of goodies that I got. If it's not, I gotta go back to the store and see if I can find where I put it down at. It sucks. All right, let's take a look. Yep, I put it down. I only, got the, I only got the four VHS. That shows how much I think of Keith. All right, let's head on back over to the thrift store, which is fine because like St. Vinnie de Paul is up that way anyway, and I gotta, I gotta head there. I was gonna go to another Goodwill then St. Vinnie de Paul, but we'll hit St. Vinnie de Paul up next. But uh, I'll see you over at the thrift store. All right, we're back. So let's... uh. Head in here and take a look around. I'm gonna go check over by the VHS. I might have just set it down right there, but I could have put it like on the Christmas shelves too. I was back there after the VHS. We'll see if we can find it. There it is, right there. All right, well, let's go pay for this. All right, Keith, I went out of my way to get this for you, man. Maybe we can trade. <laughs> you got something good to trade, Keith? I know you want this. I know you want it. I know it's an epic find. All right, anyway, this is for Keith. Up next, we're gonna hit up St. Vinny de Paul. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, we're at St. Vinny de Paul, baby. Hopefully we can find some goodies in here. They got a pretty big selection of VHS too. So I'll definitely be taking a look at that, but maybe we can find some vintage toys. That would totally make my day. All right. Let's take a look. All right, well, maybe they moved them because they all used to be right here. All the toys used to be on these shelves, but they're but they're gone. There's some remnants of them. All right, well, we'll have to take a look around. 
Plains over here in the plushy land. Plushville. And nothing. Aha, uh -huh, here they are. Meat bugs still in the box. Look at the size of this gator. Let's pull this dude out for a second. Damn. That dude's pretty big. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else in here? Here's like a smaller gator, an albino gator. And then a lizard. Uh, just looks like some baby toys. How about this box here? down and dig through there. Well, I think that's a Power Rangers pink Ranger motorcycle. Oh, we got a Mr. Potato Head. We got some dinosaurs. Some uh, cowboys and Indians it looks like. Some army men. Okay. Oh yeah, it's like table hockey. Yeah, we got like a little reindeer something or other, a smurf, some balls. We got lots of balls in here. <laughs> All right. Uh, just a bag of smalls and junk. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. What's this? Some, 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 some sort of yo-yo, maybe? No, I don't know what that is. There's a bag with, looks like the sorceress, her, uh, her falcon. That's cool. I wonder if that's the vintage one. Kind of feels like it. Yeah, it actually says 1972 on it. That's interesting, considering He-Man didn't come out until the 80s. All right, now this is super cool. So this is a vintage Masters of the Universe, the sorceress's eagle. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. Um, this is probably the remnants of the He-Man figures. I was, gosh, it was maybe three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I ran into a guy over at the thrift store and he was telling me he was at the St. Vinnie de Paul and he scored a big lot of Masters of the Universe plus Castle Grayskull plus Snake Island and he got it all for six bucks, all of it for $6. I was so bummed because I was like, why couldn't it be me? But, uh, this was in that bag. I, I'm gonna see if they'll just sell it to me just like this. So anyway, um, yeah, super cool. So anyway, I'm pretty jazzed up. I'm pretty jazzed up over that find. This is awesome. Check out this little Johnny Cash guitar. And we've got a Star Wars Tippet game. Here's a Family Feud game from 1993. And then I uh, saw this Hangman game from 2003, which looks kind of cool. It's pretty simple, <laughs> actually. I just like I just like the artwork on the box. What do we got here? We got a wind-up Smurfette. And there's some dinos, some old dinos in there. And here's this guy. Dummies. Oh, that's like those uh you know how to build a house for dummies guy i like that wind up smurfette the dinos are definitely old too 249 for the bag yeah i may just grab that all right well they got some new vhs and since the last time i was here here's our raiders we've got this you're in a super bowl charlie brown i've got that already Here's a Spider-Man on VHS. That's got to be the original one. All right. Muppet Sing Along, Titanic. You know, maybe they don't have as many new ones as I thought. Let's see. Hook, Jerry Maguire. Is this Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm not really seeing anything here that I would want to get at the moment. But uh, you can see they do have a pretty big selection. So we'll just keep checking back. Check out these two dudes just sitting on the shelf. Just chilling. Chilling like villains. <laughs> All right. They sold the Sorceress Eagle to me for a quarter. How awesome is that? Plus, I got this bag. Let's open it up and take a look inside. Holy shit. Oh my God, guys. I had no idea. These are Sinclair Oil Dino Land plastic dinos this t-rex is selling for 34 dollars just by himself oh my god <laughs> holy cow this is like crazy i probably have a hundred dollars worth of these figures right here in my lap look at that sinclair dino land oh my gosh and uh they're kind of that they kind of have that uh that plastic sticky feel because they're so old you know but because uh, I guess as the plastic starts to deteriorate a little bit over time, it gets that sticky feel. But this dude, $34 just for this dino. I paid $2.49 for the bag. I think it was $2.49. Let's see what it was here. Uh, yeah, $2.49. And I don't even know about these dinos. I got to check on these guys. I don't know who they are. But these ones right here, these suckers are worth some big bucks holy shnikes i hit the jackpot and i also got this uh four dummies little bendy dude i have no idea if he's worth anything but i got a little bendy collection so i'll just add him to that and the whole reason i bought that bag in the first place was for this little wind up smurfette made by galoob let's see if she walks well she doesn't walk too good, actually. Let me see something here. I just wound her up a little bit tighter. Let's see. <laughs> she wants to. She wants to walk, but she's not really going to walk. So, but anyway, this is the whole reason I got that bag. And last, but certainly not least, I got this vintage Masters of the Universe Sorceress's Eagle. Um, it, you know, it says 1972 there on the bottom of it. I'm assuming this was a mold of another Falcon that they just repainted. That's my assumption on it because, as you all know, Masters of, Univer of the Universe did not come out until I think it was 1981, if I'm correct, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's not worth a whole lot of money, but it's not as much as worth as much as those dinos. Now, if it had the other pieces and stuff like that, you know, you, it would sell for probably like 35, 40 bucks. Um, in this condition, I'm guessing maybe 10 to 15, but I only got, I only got it for a quarter. So how awesome is that? I had no idea these were going to be, these were going to be the money shot. Holy cow. Now the Sinclair Brontosaurus, it's worth like $85. So I'm actually going to head back in there and look through that bin and see if I can find it in there somewhere because I'd hate to pass that thing up. It might not be in there at all. These might be the only ones available you know the only ones that got dumped off but uh it's we got to go back in and look we we have to holy cow someone actually came in and cleaned this one out pretty much this was pretty full earlier some uh little plastic little plastic uh animals it might be worth picking that up <laughs> I like the look of these things. They're definitely vintage. I can tell. I mean, what's this? Is this like a Native American? What is that? Uh, I don't know what he is. He's like some sort of tribal person. All right, let's see what's in this one. All right, so we'll just kind of put all of these over here in this bucket.
All right, I am gonna get this thing. I passed on this. I bought, there was four of them last week. Three of them were in pretty good shape. This one was kind of banged up a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it because I think I can just glue some of this down and I'll be fine. But, uh, all right, so we couldn't find the dinosaur or the brontosaurus, but we'll at least grab this. All right, <laughs> got the VHS organizer. Too bad the Sinclair Brontosaurus wasn't in there. That was, that's a big money one. So if you ever come across those, just know they're not regular plastic dinosaurs. They actually were some bank. All right, up next, the Goody Wheel. My friends, we are at the Goody Wheel. Goody Wheel number two, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head in here. We're gonna take a look around, see if we can find some goodies on the shelves. I gotta get my keys. There we go. All right, gotta get the keys to lock up. So let's see what we can find. That's some sort of Play-Doh place. It looks like it makes a mold. I don't know, maybe you have a transformer or something. All right, well, what do we got over here? Oh, we got a big stack of Pokemon cards for five bucks. Oh, and here's another little thing of them. All right, well, I got a dino. I'll probably grab these Pokemon cards. I know there are people that look to buy those. And then I got this Spider-Man 2001, $2.02. Is, uh, is this a Toy Biz? Marvel, Toy Free. Uh, no, I don't think so. But I think I might grab that too. And what is this thing? I don't know what this is. All right, well, I don't know what it is. All right, well, I got a bag of Pokemon cards. <laughs> I have no idea what's in here. They were five bucks. So when I get home and we try that, sell that uh what is it marketing sale sales marketing meeting or whatever it was when we check that out we'll check the cards out too we'll thumb through a few of them maybe you guys can help me out and let me know hey burf you got a winner there baby all right last trip before we head home and uh you know before we meet back at the bunker is craptastic sam's let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got all right boys and girls here we are plaza thrift final destination last stop of the day hopefully we can find some goodness in here did i leave my key nope i got them in my pocket all right i'm ahead of the game all right let's head in here and see what we can find all right, well, what do we got in here got a bunch of funkos that dude right there let's see there we go get the glare off him he's kind of cool i don't know who he is uh, all right well let's see is there anything on the shelves for us if you guys see anything just point it out what's this thing uh it looks like some sort of spaceship <laughs> like a space shuttle or something all right come on throw something out at me that's cool I had a swimming pool, I'd buy that. All right. Not seeing anything. All right, well, it looks like they did a restock on the bags. There's a whole bunch of bags all the way down there. So let's see if we can find something here. Maybe we can find some vintage toys in this new restock. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, there's like a little bumblebee transformer. But it looks like it's the only cool thing in there. And we've got a Superman here. It kind of looks like an Imagine Next type of Superman. Anything else? Nope. Here's a bag loaded with smalls, but not the kind I buy. All right, guys, what we got? Busted. Is that the first place we've gotten busted today? Did I? Oh, yeah. I think it is. The thrift store, and then St. Vinny de Paul, and then the Goodwill. Yeah, that's the first store we got busted at today. All right, well, that's not too bad. Not too bad. All right, well, I'll see you back at the bunker. Let's check out these Pokemon cards and let's see what's on the mystery tape, huh? That mystery VHS. What if it's like, like a sales meeting from Apple in like 1997? That's like their big top secret meeting where they expose all of their, you know, insider information and stuff like that <laughs> who knows what could be on that tape and again like i said it could not even be a sales meeting it could be something on a little risk game so i'll make sure i kind of check it out before we just throw it up on the screen because i know there's kids watching so even though this is not a kid's channel you parents keep that in mind this is not a kid's channel although i do try to keep it clean as much as possible <laughs> because I know that some of you have said, me and my family watch your show. So anyway, let's head back to the bunker and let's see what's on this mystery tape. All right, gang, we're back at the bunker. Now let's see what's on this mystery tape. All right, let's turn the TV on and uh, let's plug this tape in. And we'll rewind it first. Oh, it's okay. It's rewound. It started at the very beginning. So let's hit play. And let's see what's on this sucker. Series of video presentations by a technical chemical company, TCC. This is a new venture that we are starting to introduce all of our representatives to our new product offering that we are making available under the Johnson's and Sircon labels. My name is Ken Adams. I am the regional sales manager. All right, Ken, and what's up? Let's get started by introducing our new products. First of all, this is part number 2110, our carburetor and metal parts cleaner. Carburetor and metal parts now, cleaner. All right, well, let's fast forward. Let's see if he's got anything good. This looks like it's just like more like a sales presentation than a marketing meeting. Okay, let's uh, let's fast forward. All right, let's see. 25 minutes, almost 26 minutes in now. Flat fix with the push on oh, who's this guy? Up an additional two cents. This is your notice. We're getting indications that brake fluid will be going up shortly. Uh, this is gonna reverse the trend that we've had the last year. But all indications are brake fluid's gonna start going up. Again. Oh, damn, inflation, okay, man. Brake fluid was going up back in the day. Holy cow. Pricing, as of this tape, is officially up based on the price increase that we announced on April 22nd. That's $6 a can. $235.18. Refrigerator fluid, $6 a can. All right. Well, let's see what else is on here. Well. About 32 minutes into it, there doesn't appear to be anything else on here. All right, so here are the cards. I know nothing <laughs> about Pokemon, so I have no idea if any of these are actually worth any money. I think some of these more like shiny ones are the ones that people kind of seek after, but not necessarily where did it go? Not necessarily maybe this one, like one where the whole card is like real shiny, but I don't know. I might have some good cards here. I'll have to like kind of sort through them. What's this one here? 
I don't know. I mean, is that worth something? <laughs> you would probably know more so than me, especially you people that are subscribers that are really into Pokemon. I'm just kind of sorting through these real quick to see if there's like uh, any like super shiny ones that stick out. Let's see, like, what's this one here? I don't know, is that worth something? I don't know, maybe. Let's put it off to the side here. I mean, these are probably all just like a bunch of like basic cards. That's cool, let's see. What else do we got? I think I saw another shiny one right here. All right, and then we got this whole stack. Pulling out the, again, just pulling out the shiny ones. What's this one? Oh, <clears throat> I thought maybe this was something, something cool. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it is. Put it over there. And, oh, that one's kind of cool. I like that. It's pretty. And then there's like this one over here which they have, these ones here are actually in like little protective sleeves. So I don't know if that means that these ones are actually worth a little more money and that's why whoever owned them previously put them in these protective sleeves. There's some shiny ones in here though. Well, check out that one, that one's cool. Oh look, it's a Pikachu. That's cool. Cute little Pikachu. Yeah, I don't know guys. You know, I'm gonna have to sort through these and kind of figure out if I have anything here. But I only paid a few bucks for all of them. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get rich off it. Maybe I won't. Big shout out to Ken Adams and his buddy, whoever the other guy was. Hey, uh, hey, you know, wouldn't it be fun if we could like find Ken Adams? Like who is, does he live here in Dallas? Like, where is he? You know, like we share this video around, say, hey, we need some help people. We gotta find this Ken Adams guy. Tell him to email birth at 80s toys rock and rock is spelled R-O-C at gmail.com 80s toys rock at gmail let's see if we can find ken adams but hey if you're enjoying watching this content as much as i'm enjoying making it for you do me a favor smash a like button that would help me out it helps my channel grow also if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button i got a lot more great content coming your way in over 600 videos you can start binge watching right now starting with this next video i know you're gonna love it